I'm Larry Walther. This is PrinciplesofAccounting.com Chapter 19 in which we're looking at job costing and modern cost management systems. In the previous module we looked at a job cost sheet in a manual setting. I gave a little bit of insight in terms of how a database uh, computerized system can be used to capture and manage those costs and develop reports from that information set. There's other implications to the modern information system environment that plays into job costing. One of those is simply how we keep up with direct materials. Many direct material items, if they're very expensive at all, will have a direct identifying serial number. If you look at your computer, you'll probably notice there's a serial number on it, but if you were to take that computer apart and look at the various circuit boards and chips and so forth that are installed within each, you'll also find that there's serial numbers attached to those. Probably the manufacturer of that computer could tell you exactly the parts, not only just the types of parts, but the exact specific part by serial number that's installed within that computer as it comes out of the factory. So barcodes and serial numbers are easily scanned electronically. The computer can match the component IDs to the finished unit. And that's particularly useful in terms of preparing not only a listing of the cost of materials that went into a particular item, clearly we need it for cost accounting purposes, but we also have the possibility of doing warranty processing. If we guarantee a component for 90 days, the serial number is going to allow us to know when the part was manufactured and how long the customers had it and so on. It's helpful for product recalls, all forms of inventory management. In a similar fashion, direct labor costs can be tracked electronically. You're probably familiar with a time clock. You may have seen a time clock. There may be one where you work, or maybe you've seen it in an old movie where people are lined up clocking into work. Those clock time clocks were used to track time and prepare payroll, but are also used to assign time to particular jobs that are worked. Modern technology has moved beyond that by biometric controls, fingerprint scans, things of that nature, and that can also be attributable on a job-by-job -job basis, so we'll know how much time was actually worked on a particular job and who had access to the inventory that was used in that particular job. On assembly lines, sometimes it takes more cost to measure labor for a particular job than is worth the trouble to track, even in an electronic context. If we're manufacturing automobiles and 60 cars an hour roll by the assembly line and, and a person is in charge of installing a door handle on the car, for example, one time it may take 50 seconds to put a handle on and the next time maybe there was a fumble and it took a minute and 10 seconds to screw on the handle. In any event, if we stopped and told the employee to stop at each job and write down the time spent on each job and get the serial number on that job and do a direct match, uh, we'd spend more time than it's worth perhaps to do that. Plus there would be some inequity in terms of the costing process. So we may use standards instead. We may say, look, you know, in an hour 60 cars goes by, every car gets a door handle, so let's assume that it's one minute per door handle and use an average or standardized cost to track labor in that fashion. So uh, once again, there are a number of ways we can go about this tracking process. Let's consider a term that you'll need to know. The term is cost driver. It's the factor that is viewed as causing costs to be incurred within an organization. It really relates to the assignment of overhead or the overhead application base. In the previous module, we saw how we applied overhead based on direct labor hours. The job that took two hours received twice as much overhead application as the job that took one hour. In any event, the cost driver is an abstract concept. There are really too many variables within an organization to fully explain how costs are to be created and absorbed by our production. But labor hours can be a significant logical factor. However, in an automated environment, perhaps we would look at machine hours or a number of barcode scans in other businesses. Maybe uh, it's the amount of fuel that's consumed that would be our primary cost driver. Uh, the cost driver should be logical and bear an association to the actual output that's created. It's the basis on which overhead is allocated. We touched on overhead allocation in the previous module. We're giving some more insight now into that. And this will become a significant part of our costing process as we continue through this chapter as well as into the next chapter on process costing.